वेलकम टू टेक्नो मैथ वे यू कैन फाइंड मैथमेटिकल शॉर्टकट टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स एंड कंप्यूटर ट्रिक्स क्लिक हेयर टू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल सो नाव डेज वेन यू ट्राई टू कन्फिगर योर जी मेल इन आउटलुक इट अपियर्स दैट आफ्टर कन्फिगरिंग इट इट वोट एक्सेप्ट योर क्रेडेंशियल्स एंड कंटिन्यूसली प्रॉम्ट दिस पॉपअप no matter how many times you click on okay even after checking this box save this password in your password list it keeps popping up and after some time it gives following error this issue occurs if the basic authentication has not been enabled for your gmail account so we will see today how to get rid of this situation so we'll go step by step and see how to configure the outlook first and then see how to resolve the error we have seen earlier the first thing we need to do is to enable pop imap so log into your gmail account as i already did and click on this gear symbol on the top right corner click on settings go to this option forwarding and pop slash imap here you can see the status for pop is disabled and the status for imap is disabled you can choose either one of them you can select either pop or imap i am going to select imap once you select enable imap then click on save changes The reason behind selecting IMAP is that IMAP is a two-way communication between your webmail and email client. One of the email client that we use is Outlook. It means that if you open your mail on web browser and then perform some actions on Outlook, then you can see the changes done in Outlook instantly appear on webmail. This is not the case with Pop. So basically IMAP provides a better way to access your mail on multiple media and devices. Okay, so go to the start menu and open the email client that is Outlook. Now on the top left corner, click on File and click on Add Account. <coughs> From here, select Manual Setup or Additional Server Types. Click on Next. Select Pop or IMAP. which we have enabled remember we have enabled the imap setting for my gmail account and i have already explained the reason behind this here type in your name the email address from the account type drop down list select imap in the incoming mail server you should type imap.gmail.com outgoing mail server will be smtp.gmail.com and the username should be the same as the email enter your password here and make sure the remember password option is selected click on more settings and under the general tab it will display your email id on the outgoing mail server check this box my outgoing server smtp requires authentication under the advanced tab for incoming server imap select ssl from the drop down list and the port number should be 993 for outgoing server smtp select ssl from the drop down and the port number should be 465 click on okay click on next see it is showing me this pop up and it's saying that your credentials are not accepted even if i check this box save this password in your password list and click on okay it will again and again and again will show me this and if we cancel this it will continuously 
give us this pop-up and finally it will show us this error but right now it's not showing the error message which we have seen at the beginning of this video but eventually you will get that error message anytime so as explained in the beginning this issue occurs due to the fact that you have not enabled the basic authentication for your gmail account the feature which is known as allow less secure apps let's see how to enable this feature from your gmail account so to enable the basic authentication now i'm just going to my gmail account and on the top right corner click on your profile picture and click on my account from here scroll down and click on sign in and security from the left hand side menu bar select connected apps and sites scroll down a little bit and you will see the option allow less secure apps so we need to enable this option so enable it by just scrolling this button once we enable this option i'm again going to the outlook and i'm just going to click on next and let's see if it throws me again the same pop-up you see the process is completed successfully you just close it click on next and your outlook account for the gmail has been configured now and it will download all my mails one by one from the web server to my local system i hope you like you like the video keep sharing it and subscribe to the channel to get the future updates thank you